Oh, but first, I am joined right now by White House Deputy Press Secretary Hogan Gidley for a preview of tonight's speech. Good to see you, Hogan. I know you guys have been hard at work on this for a while. What is going to be the emphasis tonight? The president is going to focus on uh, five major areas. We're obviously going to talk about national security and funding the troops, making sure our country is protected. He's going to talk about immigration. He rolled out the framework to an immigration package that is a compromise that actually solves the problem. Uh, he's going to talk about infrastructure as well, talk about a plan to actually get our, gets our roads and bridges uh, back safe again for our people. Also talking about trade. As you know, Trish, we have a $71 billion trade deficit with Mexico. 17 billion with Canada. That can't happen anymore. This president wants to put an end to that. And also the economy, something your viewers care greatly about. The strides we've made in this country in just a short amount of time with the stock market and jobs and wages is something that absolutely the president's going to focus on. But we have to keep going moving forward. We're going to build on the momentum of the past and focus it on the future. Hogan, we got a market that's off 345 right now. Is he going to address that at all in tonight's speech? Well, as you know, markets go up and down. I know there was a health care announcement from several major companies as well. I think that has something to do with some of the market sell-off. That's for, that's for you and the, the, the economic geniuses to decide. I'm not sure if the president will address that tonight. But overall, no one can deny the successes that, that have occurred under this president's mm -hmm. watch and the policies, quite frankly, of things like deregulation. You know and I know that he promised mm -hmm. to, to cut uh, two regulations for every one he puts in place. Mm -hmm. Instead, he exceeded that and put, uh, has cut 22 for every one. And only in Washington, D.C. could you say that cutting two and adding one is, is, is successful. But this president's mm -hmm. far exceeded that, and that's what absolutely has helped jumpstart this economy. Now, there's certainly a victory lap I think he can take already on the economy. I mean, it's, it's unfortunate, I suppose, for him that the, it's such a tough market day. But you're right, markets do go up and down. Let's hope that this doesn't continue. Again, now off 350 points, 1.3% on the Dow. But Hogan, when it comes to infrastructure, um, that seems to be one that you could get everyone on board with. The Democrats have been pushing for years, for decades, to have more in the way of infrastructure. Uh, will this be something that, that he hopes he can, he can talk about unity on as opposed to division? Well, you'd think, he talk, you'd think Democrats would be on board for middle class tax cuts for middle America. you think they'd be on board for actually fixing the DACA problem. you think they'd be on board about securing the border. But they haven't been. So I don't know why you would think this infrastructure package would be any different. For whatever reason, these Democrats uh. have decided they're going to dig in against this president regardless of the successes. And you'll remember after the campaign, they even said... We lost our way because we didn't focus on the middle class. The president comes forth and puts forth a middle class tax cut, tax reforms to the tax code for the first time in 30 years, and not one Democrat voted for it. I don't remember when Democrats became so anti-business, but they sure are. Yeah, no, I, I think not just anti-business, but as you say, in some ways anti-middle class because right. that's who has gotten squeezed for the last several decades, actually, I'd right. point out, with wages going nowhere. Right. And I, and I will say they've been stagnant for the better part of 30 years. And they say this mm -hmm. economy, the Dow, doesn't affect the middle class. Let's be honest. Fifty five million people in this country have a 401k. Mm -hmm. Thirty five million have pe uh, pension plans and 25 million have IRAs. It affects everybody. I have sure. a friend in South Carolina who has a family farm. He was able mm -hmm. to use money from his IRA to go put the down payment that's on a good. truck that he desperately needs. That's real American people no, that's, needing that's real that's American help. Absolutely. It's uh, too bad we're off 346 then on a day like today. But Hogan Gidley, it's good to see you'll be watching. We will all be watching very, very carefully tonight.